Now at 530 Eyewitness News looking out for you and your COVID-19 concerns. Joining us now is Dr. Betsy Tilson, the state health director. Good to see you again, Dr. Tilson. I know you are very busy and the questions continue to roll in as the information is out there. So I'll get right into it. Uh, this one coming in about uh, someone who's heard that high doses of vitamin C are being used to treat patients with COVID-19. So does that work and should I or we all be taking vitamin C to prevent the infection with the virus? Could it help us? So I've been seeing that on social media as well. Um, I think right now we don't have a good evidence that that vitamin C is helpful. So I would caution people from taking high dose vitamin C, but certainly eating your fresh fruits, uh, fruits and vegetables or taking a, vit a multivitamin a day um, would be fine. But I think it's too early to know if high dose vitamin C is helpful. The next question coming in, many are already looking at next year's cold and flu season. Uh, so how will it be different from this pandemic if the vaccines normally take 18 months? Companies only in phase one clinical trials for a vaccine now. So are you already looking ahead to next season? Well, that's something we were thinking about this year as well, and it, being able to delay the COVID-19 for this season so that we could be out of the height of our cold and flu season. So I think it might be a little too early to, to know next year, will we still be having high COVID-19 activity with our flu season? But it'll be another reason even more important that everybody get their flu vaccine so we can minimize the amount of circulating flu if we still have circulating COVID-19. So always get your flu shot. Also, is the social distancing working? How are the models looking? Yeah, it's a little bit too early to tell. And you know, the stay at home order just went into effect on Monday night. So it's still, uh, we'll still need probably another couple of weeks to see the effect of that. We did have some earlier data to show at least there's some decrease in the amount that people are moving. So that's good. There's still some improvement in that though. We still need people to move less, but it'll get, we'll need a, a couple of weeks to see the effect, especially of the stay at home order that just went into effect on Monday night. But as we've been hearing, it is our best defense right now against uh, this new novel virus. Yes. So there's a lot of questions about masks or even bandanas to cover your face when you do have to go out to the grocery stores or phar pharmacies. What's your recommendation on this for the public? Right. So remember, masks are protecting the world from you. Um, and so if you are sick, so first, if you're sick, you should not be going out. But if you have to go out and you're sick, then wearing a face mask, again, to protect other people from your, um, from your germs um, is where that comes in, into play. But also to remember that we have a, a high shortage of masks um, and supplies for our healthcare workforce who are in those high-risk situations all the time. So we want to be sure we are preserving as much masks for a healthcare workforce. And then if you are sick, not going out, but if you have to go out with your sick, that's when we would recommend wearing a face mask. Okay, and one more question tonight. Uh, if a family member is positive for uh -huh. coronavirus, how do you handle that in your household? Yeah, and we have a really nice um, information on our website, specifically says what to do if someone in your household is sick. So please look on our website for that. But some of the um, major um, pieces of advice is one, one, you wanna check in on that person, make sure that they're not having worsening symptoms, um, a higher fever, trouble breathing, shortness of breath, uh, breath, chest tightness. You wanna make sure you're checking on your family member, making sure they're doing okay. You wanna make sure that that family member is as isolated as much as possible in a separate room, if possible, using a separate bathroom. Making sure if that family member um, is coming out of the room that they are wearing a face mask to protect other people. Making sure you're washing down your surfaces um, uh, really, really well and then as much as possible staying six feet away from that family member. Those are some of the key pieces. But again, on our website, we have a really nice um, handout on what to do if someone's sick at home. Yeah, you guys have been uh, adding a lot of information daily. I know that you have folks busy behind yes. the scenes as well to keep the public informed. We appreciate the job you are yes. doing, Dr. Betsy Tilson, the state health director. Thanks for joining us. Stay Thank well. You.